Great Smokies from uh, the Appalachian Trail. Hey everybody, this is Will, KO4DFC, and wanted to show a, a portable solar charging setup that I'm trying to get ready for uh, as part of my backpacking kit. I'm trying to figure out how to run this uh, Solar Fairy 30, I think it's a Solar Fairy 30S, to my BioNO 3 amp hour battery that I use with my um, Lab 599 TX500 Discovery. And so far, I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but it's charging at about, um, it, it was at like 0.5 amps. And I think as the voltage gets close um, between what the panel's putting out and what the battery has, the amps are dropping. Uh, so they've dropped down to about 0.15 now. It's continuing to drop. This is a, an MPPT charge controller that I tried to hook up, but unfortunately it didn't even register anything from this panel. So I was planning to run it through a charge controller, but I think you know, that panel, um, I just don't know that it's gonna be enough to actually get through that charge controller to the battery. So what I'm gonna do, since it looks like the voltage difference between the battery and the panel is getting a little bit close here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I think I'll just go ahead and disconnect the battery here. So um, that's to be safe because what you don't wanna do is um, have a charge essentially flow back into your panel from the battery. So now that we've done that, let's see. Let's just see what our, uh, our battery ended up having a voltage of. Plug this back into the load side here. Try to do this one-handed. So, uh, that looks like 13.85 volts. I started at 13.39. Uh, so that has charged it a good bit. Not necessarily a safe way to do it, but if you were in a pinch in the back country, um, that's what I got to work. So uh, this is a little PowerWorks, um, a uh, watt meter and power analyzer. So yeah, it just lets me check amps and things. I would recommend that you monitor that with something like that if you decide to do that. But uh, again, this, this is a small panel. It says it's 30 watts. Um, just then it was about six watts when I started and I think it kept dropping due to the uh, to the absence of a charge controller but I also ran uh, this is a, important to note um, this has a 14.4 volt DC direct out and what I did is I actually took um, this cable this is a uh, a direct DC cable for a Yesu um, FT70D. And I, I forget the specific uh, model number for it, but it, it's the Yesu handheld cable. And it turned out that that uh, DC barrel jack fit that uh, socket. So that guy. But anyway, um, so if you want to charge up a battery with solar that um 
that went from 13.39 up to 13, I think it was 13.85 or whatever it was in about five minutes. So not bad for that little panel. All right, so just to make sure that I uh, wasn't having issues with this MPPT charge controller, um, I hooked up my 100 watt solar panel. And as you can see, the MPPT controller lit up and this battery is basically charged all the way at this point. So um, we're good to go here, but this is working. Uh, it's just that uh, Solar Fairy 30S didn't quite have enough juice to, uh, to cut this guy on, but this is uh, more efficient than my other charge controllers. So I think I'm gonna leave this one set up the way I have it. 